Welcome back to Let's Play Death Spank. Thongs of Virtue, Burning Dog fans. Spelunker has given us a quest, and we're going to go do it. But first, I need to check something. The hideous stinker lives beyond the Sheikok's factory. Oops. The hideous stinker locked a valuable weapon in his treasure chest. I need to go find a key. The hideous stinker killed my brother and took his shotgun. I'm going to get it back or die. Sure. Hmm. So this must those, all, those ones must have all dropped from the same guy. Or I forgot to read those notes, and I've been getting hints about the hideous stinker for ages now. Greatest generation trinket. I haven't gotten one of those since the uh, the POW areas. Memorabilia that never really existed. I'm probably best not to leave the demon's tooth lying around to sand. Oh, and the Spelunker wants us to go into this cave and... Greetings, strange man. So does this guy. Have you delivered the keepsake to my wife? Not yet, but I will. Then hurry, you fool. The sooner you do, the sooner I'll be free. <laughs> Ah. Just you and me! Oh, you're, uh, actually really, really strong at that. Oh, God! Oh, let's use my last potion. And, uh... What is this not... Why is that... Uh... Oh, fuck! I don't know! Oh god damn it, why'd I pick that one? Ahem. I meant to do that. Yeah! It's a D20. Skinned with map on it. Oh, you were one of those guys! I didn't even notice because I didn't have time to target you properly. Wow! Plate head of siding. This helm is found in treasure chests or treasure cereal boxes. Kind of silly looking. That sucks. Not bad. You are a worthy foe. I actually had to think about that one. Which is <clears throat> not something I usually say about Death Spank. I don't know why I said that all loud. I don't know what the emphasis is supposed to be. It sounded funnier in my head. Let's see. Crystal from Blood Mountains. Lifetimes of pressure formed this crystal so I could remove it in seconds of the hammer. Skin with map on it. Well, it's not like they need it anymore. Meaning this keepsake, this better have great significance. Wait. Oh, is this the Blood Mountain Cave? I don't know. I don't know where I am. It's just the stinking lands out here. I mean, it's the only goddamn cave here. I'm gonna give it a shot. <laughs> Fire in the hole. Hey! Nice! And the witty description on this one is Rock Sample from the Blood Mountains Cave for the Prospector. It's almost like I saw that one coming. Greetings. Oh, I see. It's just deliver it. Yeah, okay. Alright, before we invade the factory, let's go over here. Ow. 
Ah, uh, good. You guys have respawned. You know what that means, don't you? Come here, you fuckers. No! No! Oh, I'm going to enjoy that. But first... Did you find my husband yet? I have a keepsake of your husband's. Oh, he would never part with that unless... Is he dead? Yeah, he's right here. Silence means yes. Yeehaw! I'm finally rid of that good-for-nothing sloth-loving pig. Uh. With him gone, the farm is mine. Hmm, maybe I'll put up drapes. Well, don't get too comfortable because you're not staying. See you in hell, lady. Mmm, tasty! Good day, widow. Thank you for all your help. I wonder if I can hit them with this. I don't think he regrets that, because I don't think he has any thoughts. Yeah, there's a revolver there. He needs a revolver. Uh, shoulders of the golden lion. If these lions could roar, I'd never get a word in edgewise. Hell yeah, that was awesome. Oh god damn it, once again I have every piece except one! Oh. Man, you guys respawn quickly. Maybe they respawn quickly because they actually did have a problem with someone just toughing it out and staying there until they drained their health with regular attacks. So you make them respawn before you can kill two of them. Why am I here? Oh, that's right, the last rock sample. Greetings again, Prospector. I have a rock sample for you. Here's a rock from the cave in the Blood Mountains. Ah, no bacon at all in this rock. Thanks for all your help, Death Spank. Looks like the bacon vein is just a legend after all. Oh, I'm sad. Greetings, arms. So. Uh huh. Yeah, nothing here I can use for this set. Ah, piss drink. Okay, let's go get back to the prospector and to the factory, I guess. I also know where one of the other uh, pirates is, uh, one in the jungle. Actually, I think he's right next to the... to this, isn't he? I can just pop in and murder him. Yeah, there's Scoops. Oops. Hey, I was right. Hey, remember me, asshole? You know what's funny? That very because I'm on the beach over here. That very much reminded me of one of those old like advertisement comics about take our you know weight training method and you'll go from being a 90 pound weakling to being a huge stud. You know one of those little stories where the bully kicks sand in the guy's face and steals his girl, and the guy goes and gets swole and comes back and beats up the bully. That guy absolutely kicked my ass the first time I met him. I didn't have time to see what his level was before he murdered me. Greetings, Spelunka. Do you have any crystal samples for me yet? Indeed. A Blood Mountain's crystal. Oh, great. See you at the next cave. I'm pretty sure he said that even the last time. 
Traveler of Roads! Death's Bank moves towards evil's end. Oh, I forgot to say, now you're level 17. Health damage and blocking time have increased, but I would also like to increase my range damage. Thank you, Zesty. Ooh, look at that. That's how powerful I am. I guess it's because I'm doing a shitload of side quests instead of, you know, actually trying to get here, but... Hey, man! What can I say? All those people needed justice. Greetings, person who greets people! Welcome to the TGI Wharton's factory headquarters. Is there anything I can help you with today? Oh, this place smells like something died. This is where we work hard to make delicious food for shipping to our many family restaurants. That smell is just one of the many wonders of packaging processed meat. Are you sure it's safe to eat? <laughs> Certainly. Everything we do here is supervised by Wharton Wandel Ranger herself. I like that the sign looks like they forgot one of the T's and then had to put it in afterwards, by the way. Wharton is real? I thought she was fake like that Colonel guy. You mean you've never heard of THE Warden Wandle Ranger? Well, she's only the most incredible chef ever in the history of the world. A regular rags-to-riches story. She is truly an inspiration. Uh, Colonel Sanders was a real person, but he's dead. I'm just saying. They didn't make him up. I mean, when he appears in commercials these days, that's an actor, but... There was a real Colonel Sanders. Tell me... Is there good money in rags? Well, she came from nothing. Farming dirt with her father on the dusty plains. Yeah, skip to the part about the yeah, riches. fair enough. Her discovery of a special secret ingredient propelled her to instant fame and fortune. Her culinary talent is without equal. We are lucky she has decided to share her gift. Oh, secret ingredient, eh? I'd like to get in on that action. Not likely. Only Ms. Wandel Ranger knows, and she keeps it hidden in her office. Perhaps I could bribe someone from her family. I'm afraid they disappeared under mysterious circumstances years ago. So the secret ingredient is either going to be flesh, or either be human flesh, or human blood. I'm just saying. Like, we're all on the same page here? I'd like to see Wharton Wandle Ranger. Certainly. Do you have an appointment? Fuck no! I don't need an appointment. I am Death's Bank. Everybody needs an appointment. Except employees, of course. Ms. Wandle Ranger is always happy to serve the employees. I'd like to make an appointment to see Wharton Wandle Ranger. Certainly. I think there is an open slot sometime in, mm, Febtober? Morning or afternoon? That's months away. Get her on the phone to speak to me. Ms. Wandle Ranger is currently occupied and away from her office. Perfect! I'll just Probably go search it. using her I mean... amazing culinary talent to solve world hunger. I'd like to become a TGI Wharton's employee. You've certainly come to the right place. Oh, but you'll also need to get a TGIW uniform. They put the dots after the right one that time. Successfully passed the drug test. And sing the official TGIW birthday song. What, the one Tina sang to me? Well, uh, now that I'm applying to be to work here... What's the buzz around the water cooler? Well, Gerald was caught cheating on Cindy with Tim. Gasp! Cat! And Terry went in for knee surgery for a broken foot. If you have a card, I'd love to sign it. Oh, and I heard more people went missing last week. People were missing before, and now there's more. Oh, it's probably nothing. It is flu season after all. I don't know. Sounds suspicious to me. People seem to go missing around these parts all the time. No big deal. Ms. Wandle Ranger told me not to worry about it, so I don't. Ah, uh, well, 
He knows the t the, the birthday song, like the character About has heard it. My employee application. <laughs> oh, what's the TGIW uniform? It's a vest with a minimum of six pieces of flair. Ah, uh, uh, vest? It's like a jacket without sleeves. I see. And flair? Buttons and pins that express your unique personality. Uh, maybe I should mention I've never actually been to TGI Fridays. So there are specific references in here. I think, I think that's where the pieces of flair things come fr comes from, but... Where do I get six pieces of flair? Just look for things that express how you feel and who you are. Such as unmitigated violence? Can you pin unmitigated violence to your vest? I don't think so. Not easily. Uh, perhaps if it were mitigated. How about a button that says, Kiss me, I'm Irish. It would be immoral to exploit a noble heritage for sexual <laughs> favors. <laughs> oh, God. Why do I have to take a drug test? Don't you trust me? It's nothing personal, sir. That should be at least Company easy. Unless he's on steroids. Fine. I shall ace your test of suspicion and mistrust. It's down the hall, just behind these doors. Is this okay for a uniform? Let's see here. Hmm. That's really not much of a vest if you ask me. I'm sorry, Mr. Deathspank, but your uniform is not up to TGIW standards. I've never, you know, worked at a restaurant for that, uh, but, uh, I'm, uh, pretty sure they give you the uniform. Can you teach me the TGIW birthday song? You mean you don't already know it? Why would I? Well, I just assumed you'd been to a TGIW's on your birthday. My birthday is celebrated with my two best friends, Justice and Vanquishing. If you can prove it's your birthday, you can hear it at the newest TGIW franchise. They cut that off. You know, it's funny, I only picked October, the October uh, choice when I was doing the library card thing, because I was fond of the, uh, remember, remember, the first of October book when I was a kid from Dr. Seuss. I am ready to sing the birthday song. Prepare yourself. <coughs> yeah, they're gonna make me pick it. Fuck! Another year is done. It's time to I have don't remember, some fun. So. Uh... You're really getting old, if we may be so bold. But please don't burst in tears. The crying hurts our ears. Come on, have some cake. It's better than fried snake. That almost sounds right. But you weren't quite singing the correct words. Okay. <laughs> I thought no one paid attention to the words. At least I don't. Not good enough for TGIWs. I'm sorry. Never mind. I should get going. I have quests to do. Have a nice day. Let's see. Down the hall to the right. There is no down the hall. Is this it then? Factory halls. I'm sorry. Tell me that part again. Greetings, administrative support attendant. About my employee application. <laughs> Where did you say I take the drug test? It's down the hall, just behind these doors. Oh, okay. Nope. I should get going. Oh, that's ominous. Hey! At last, let's just hope it doesn't crash. Uh, okay.
so if I have a treasure cave or is the hideous stinker? Oh, there it is. There. Scan of a Mark VII. A scan taken of a Mark VII robot, showing the intricate and loving interior. I'm not even going to question it. Though. Okay. The timer has gone, so I'm going to call it. I'm Burning Dog Face, and this has been another exciting episode of Let's Play Death Spank, Thongs of Virtue. I'll see you next time when we explore Wharton's factory, find a way to do a drug test, and uh, maybe, maybe get our hands on some more flair. I only have four pieces. I only remember picking up two of them, to be honest. So we're already doing pretty well. <laughs> Later.